Hello, my name is Gisela Maggiotto. I am a clinical embryologist and I am part of the technical team at Kitasato DivMed. During this presentation, I will discuss why the ICSI micropipette has a key role in the outcome of an ICSI cycle. The introduction of ICSI was the most effective treatment program in order to give the opportunity of having babies for couples with male factor infertility. It can also improve the fertilization rate and embryo quality in patients with non-male factor infertility. Currently, ICSI is the most widely used assisted reproductive technique worldwide. Nevertheless, many technical factors can affect ICSI outcomes, such as the sperm immobilization prior to ICSI, the operator skills, the orientation of the first polar body, the aspiration of ovoplasm, the sperm direction inside the micropipette, the excessive manipulation inside the oocyte, the effect of sperm entry and the ICSI technique itself. In addition, the role of the injection micropipette is of vital importance in ICSI programs since it can influence pregnancy outcomes. The key performance indicators generally used to assess the injection outcome are fertilization rate, degeneration rate, and formation of good quality embryos. The definition used most often for the ICSI normal fertilization rate is the proportion of injected oocytes with tuber nuclei the day after injection. And the suggested competence values for this indicator range from 60 to 80 percent and the benchmark values from 70 to 100 percent. One way to improve fertilization rate in ICSI programs is to avoid or minimize oocyte degeneration and one of the most important goals is to improve the formation of high quality embryos to increase the chance of pregnancy. So if we are able to reduce oocyte degeneration and prevent damaging the oocyte cytoplasm and structures after injection, then the number of good quality embryos will increase, which in turn will increase pregnancy and live rates. As already mentioned, ICSI is an invasive technique and the design and quality of the microinjection needle is one of the most important factors in successful ICSI programs. There are several studies in this field and some of the characteristics of micropipettes like sharpness, inner diameter and multiple pipette use have been evaluated previously. In this sense, a well-designed micropipette causes less damage to the oocyte and reduces degeneration while increasing the normal fertilization rate. Kitasato Microtools offer an accurate and precise manipulation of oocytes, sperm and embryos for ART and PGT. They are co-developed together with major clinics in Japan and are handcrafted by highly skilled professionals with strict quality controls. Individual quality check is performed to every pipette. Their design guarantees high control of specimens and minimum damage to the cell membrane. They are individually packed in easy-to-open color-coded containers. Take into account that the length of the micropipette spike may have some detrimental impact on the oocyte during ICSI, such as rupture of the opposite side of the oolema. Kitasato ICSI pipettes are designed with a short spike to minimize damage to the oocyte during injection and also the well-defined bevel aids a safe puncture of the zona pellucida. Kitasato XC micropipettes are available with short parallel walls as well as with long parallel walls as slim types to fulfill different choices. They come with angles of 30 and 35 degrees and with different diameters. Notice that smaller inner diameter may improve fertilization rate and embryo development. Kitasato also manufactures other microtools such as holding and biopsy pipettes to cover all micromanipulation techniques in the IVF laboratory. Samples of the microtools are available for trial. If you want more information or you have any technical question, please do not hesitate to contact me through my email. 
Thank you very much for your attention.